All right, they are done with just selling cookies. A group of girls in Northern California say they went to join the Boy Scouts. The girls went before local Boy Scout brass recently to make their demands known. One 10-year-old telling the New York Times, quote, because we're girls, we can't participate with boys. When we get into the real world, we're going to have to work with other people who are, like, not just girls. But it may not be so simple. Federal law carves out an exception for Boy Scouts, making it okay for them to exclude members based on gender. And the National Boy Scout Organization told reporters the Cub and Boy Scouts provide year-round programs that are meant for boys. Some parents also having issues with that request. One mom saying she wouldn't want a girl sleeping in her son's tent. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's what my so we had to go there. Uh, so Harris, <laughs> we have so much more territory to, to, to cover before we yeah, get there's to a, inside a lot the more before, before we get to what happens inside the tent. <laughs> <laughs> what would happen on overtime? I was gonna we say will that. be talking about That's what happens inside the tent. Stuff, so though. these uh, these four young women, ages uh, from 10 to 13, call mm -hmm. themselves the unicorns. Why not just create your own group? Okay, so that's an interesting discussion to have, the Kid Scouts or something like it. Because, you know, I understand the idea of wanting to compete at, at different things and maybe wanting to do the knot tying instead of maybe some of the other activities that the girls are doing. I was a brownie. I went into to Girl Scouts. Yeah. I loved it. Um, but there were some activities that my dad said, well, I want you to know how to do these other things. And there was not that automatic club to go into. Um, so it's an interesting place maybe for somebody to step up with something that's more uh, universal. Isn't that great? Uh, the Girl Scouts, they're kind of losing yeah. this PR campaign right now because right. people are going, oh, what, do they just put on glitter nail polish and eat cookies and sell them perhaps? Well, yeah, and it really makes me think, are we allowed to maintain any sort of classic American tradition in our cultural institutions? You know, there is a Boy Scouts and there is a Girl Scouts, and they're both great organizations. I've been involved with the Boy Scouts myself, Cub Scouts through my children. And let me tell you, we go hiking. We've done overnight camping. I don't see why the Girl Scouts can't do the same thing. Sure. In fact, on some of our hikes, some of the siblings or sisters come with us so yeah. it's not as if they're excluded from participating mm. in some of the more diverse activities but it really does make me think I mean and it makes me sad in a way because we talk about this sometimes with transgender bathrooms should we have people able to use the same bathroom there should be a basic baseline common sense when it comes to sort of our tradition certain traditional values I think this is one of those instances I, I went to an all-girls school for a few years and yeah. it was the greatest experience of my life because you you figure out who you are as an individual without putting boys in the mix which if you're a certain age it complicates matters yeah. and you focus on looking good for the for the fellas I mean Girl Scouts are a little different because they're younger but you're worried about th rather than your uh, intellectual pursuit you're worried about how your hair looks yeah and as long as you can postpone that the better it, it in terms of, I have to, full disclosure, I was in the Girl Scouts and the Brownies, yeah. and I hated it. Really? I, I hated it because my troop leader took me to hear Jimmy Carter speak. And mm -hmm. I was like, this man <laughs> is responsible for runaway That's inflation brutal. in this country. Child abuse. And I dropped out after that. So you, it, you just, you blame the entire Girl Scouts for Jimmy Carter? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or them take it. And I don't disagree. I, listen, I'm on your side. I go with that, too. I just wouldn't want to leave the cookies. This is what I'm, my, I'm like, we're spending money on me to go hear Jimmy Carter. You don't Carter have speak. to leave the cookies, wow. but if the boys yeah. are doing more fun stuff, then the Girl Scout should be more common and, and say, you know what, look at Katniss Everdeen, look at Merida from Brave, you know, look at these these yeah. female superhero icons you think, that you we can have. Get a Mer Imagine well, let me get in Boy they, Scouts. They it's not that cool. They should adapt, though, then, the Girl Scouts. <laughs> yeah. They should absolutely adapt because, as you say, right. Tony, why can't boys have anything to th themselves anymore? I mean, you pointed out there's all-girls clubs and all-girls dorms. Like, I was in freshman year. Ironically, all the boys were hanging out in the all-girls dorm. That was a bad <laughs> idea. Sorry, Mom. Um, you know, I don't, I don't get it. Just let them have their own thing. Yeah. And then, Man Scouts. <laughs> the next oh, step on our journey. For our single friends.